Hi, my name is Deval and I'm a lawyer by training and I'm really interested in experts, who they are, what the difference is between them and laypeople and as a lawyer I'm really interested in who gets to participate in expert-led processes of governance and also how people are held accountable for the decisions that they make in those processes. At the moment I'm researching uh, what uh, Albert Hirschman calls the creative power of ignorance. So Albert Hirschman uh, in his article The Hiding Hand and in other work was really interested in the creative power of ignorance. How in development projects like building a dam, building a road, if you actually reduce the amount of information that policymakers had when they were building a dam or a road, they might actually make more creative and better decisions. So I'm really interested in thinking about the creative power of ignorance today and in particular in processes that are about building not dams, not roads, but governance. So building institutions like trying to build the rule of law in a post-conflict state or trying to develop a regulator in a really complex jurisdiction like the European Union. In those instances, can ignorance be creative? When you have experts who are trying to say that they know less than they do, or people who say, well, if experts don't know that much, maybe I'm an expert as well. Who gets to participate in that decision-making process? And how can they be held accountable for those decisions?